What is up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I am gonna basically unwind the 36 America's Cup. It is now concluded. Another America's Cup cycle. Gone. Um, so this was the first one that we did on this new platform, the AC-75s, foil and mono hull. It's amazing when it's only like 10, 12 knots, they're going like 40 knots. It's really amazing, to be honest, how fast that that boat can go. And the Defender was Team Everest New Zealand. And the challenger, and challenger of record, was Lynn Rosa Parada Pirelli. And it started out with a really close, the first couple days, New Zealand would win one, Parada would win one. And that went for three day, three times. So the final score was 7-3. to three. Ended on the 10th race. It was kind of amazing that we were still able to do 10 races, and how close the racing was. It was amazing, some of the tactics, and races that we had was probably some of the funnest and tightest racing that I think out of any platform on any boat it was to be honest the greatest racing I've ever seen and to be honest on a lot of the occasions it went down to the start if you didn't win the start a lot of times you didn't win the race but so when we, when we went into course C which was really fun there's a lot of lead changes but I noticed towards the end of it oh, last two three races there is it was a lot closer which was great I, I think also new zealand was getting better because when you are the defender you don't get to race they did the christmas cup and that was it they won the christmas cup but then that was it so the other teams had like a, over a month to train and train really hard which i think was obviously an advantage for prada that's pr probably was a really good team i think and i thought that's um a little bit of Italian flair, a little bit of Scuderia Ferrari kind of vibes, I'd say. So it was great to see Prada Pirelli in it. And also, them as a brand, I think that they definitely should be back with, I think, Jimmy Spithill and Francesco Bruni. I think they don't, I don't think there's really anyone in that team that they should change. Everyone on the team is good. Same with New Zealand. You got Peter Burling with an amazing skipper with Blair Tuke being kind of the tactician and the wingman, which was kind of, which was a good combination. And it's a, it's a winning combination. They won 2017 Bermuda, so yeah. But I think, I think this boat, this AC-75, I think it should absolutely be used for the next America's Cup and for quite a long time, I think. Um, I think um, maybe just some minor tweaks to the boat and just let them keep going performance, 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 and yeah. But what was really interesting, it, it was sometimes you had an advantage when you had a smaller sail. No, I know what you're thinking, like, you need a bigger sail to go as fast as you can. Not necessarily an America's Cup. The smaller the sail, the less draggy. I mean, the yeah, the less drag is, if you have a bigger sail, it's a lot dr draggier, a lot more drag that's off the boat, a lot more surface area that you're dragging through your wind, which is really kind of an interesting theory but um i think this was probably the best america's cup to watch i think it's probably one of the closest and yeah we had some long races but i mean some not very there was a couple of not very close races but but some, some one of those was because the new zealand and prada both got off their foils new zealand got off their foils first prada took like a 1200 something meter lead then they fell off their foils the New Zealand went and flew and won by like 800 meters, which was pretty amazing. It's like one moment you think you're doing really good, and then the next moment, boom. Which is, yeah. And the poor grinders, I think they were really tired after that. And to be honest, I think you're probably more tired in a lighter day over a heavier day, just because you're having to make constant tags, constant maneuvers. But um, there was definitely some starts that were kind of interesting, Definitely some decisions that probably shouldn't have been made because they were always really, really early. So they're having to kill time, kill speed without falling, falling off the foils because it takes you three, four minutes easy to, in, in lighter air to get up and to get on your foils. But the technology that is used in these boats is incredible. If they have technology telling you basically your line sight, everything you need to possibly know as a skipper. And you even got cameras because 
New Zealand, they didn't have a window, so they couldn't see, so Peter Burling had, like, a little screen there with, like, you know, with, um, probably a little camera pointing at the other side, because he can't see it, and it's amazing some of the radio, and it was, like, fascinating to watch, it was the technology, I keep saying that, but it really was amazing how far the sailing community has developed, and, um, I think... Well, I really hope that America's Cup is more often, I would say, and I wish that maybe it was kind of a venue where you got, like, ten races and whoever wins the most races wins the series, if they kind of did some more things like that. Because those boats are just so cool to watch. I mean, I, I couldn't even imagine being in person looking up at the f a foiling, you know, 75-foot 75 75 foot boat just fly right by you. I mean, it's crazy, to be honest. And... And how fast they're going. Like, it's just incredible. We saw speeds of over 60 miles per hour, which was amazing. I say it's 60, maybe it was 50, I can't remember. But yeah, it was just like speeds that were just ridiculously quick. And I think that these, these are probably one of the fastest boats in the world. And there's not another boat that I think anyone would rather be on is than is a foiling AC seventy five, and and um I think that this fleet's just started. I think it can develop. We can get more countries, get more boats, and we can we got a great platform to work with. We just need to get the the more of a the regatta organization confront kind of more sorted out. But yeah, obviously. Kudos to every single team that was in the America's Cup, every single person that worked on it, because a lot of those people were putting hours and hours of their life giving it to these boats. And on some of the teams, just to get, to get defeated just like that, and it's over, it must be really heartbreaking. I can only imagine how heartbroken a lot of people are that if that aren't to New Zealand. But kudos to American Magic. They had to build that boat twice because of the hole. Kudos to any else Team UK, and kudos to Lunarosa Prada Pirelli for challenging team members New Zealand for the Amer 36 Americas Cup. They were a very, very, very good team, and I hope we see that outfit right back at it. And kudos to the 36 Americas Cup winners, team members New Zealand. I mean, that team held quite a bit working against them and when I noticed when it was windier that boat got faster because it had the smaller foils when it was lighter it was more of Prada's game but kudos to every single person that was there the also the the radio the um tv guys the the race committee everyone because running an America's Cup takes a whole army and yeah and um, obviously very happy that it was in New Zealand cause, because they have an amazing, they locked that place down, not, didn't let anyone in. Then they opened up 100%. You're seeing thousands of people right beside each other, no masks, no social distancing, any of this stuff. And, and um, yeah, they had to close the close it down for like a week or something just because they got like two, three, like maybe 10 cases, maybe something like that. But um. Yeah, that's a, that is the place to live right now. They got their quarantine ho hotels. Not the greatest hotels they would want to stay at. They're kind of ho bunk, but that's another story. But, um, yeah. And, um, if you guys haven't watched America's Cup, I don't know where you guys have been. You guys be better go watch some replays on YouTube because you're going to be absolutely fascinated about these AC-75s foiling. But, um... That's that is it guys. If you did be sure to smash that like button, but just like that, this vlog's over and about peace.